nice You should open your heart, I wanna see what you so like Low life, but I'm telling you to go to here when die day What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, my name is Ben, your host So today when it comes to watchOS updates, I'll be happy to let you know that we have another point of a point of an update and if we go into our settings and go to software update, you can see I have watchOS 10.1.1 Now this update is much needed by a lot of users and you can see for me, it's actually a massive update and this is the Apple Watch Series 7 that I'm updating. And the reason why it's 1.2 gigs is if we go to the about this watch section, you can see that I'm updating from watchOS 9.6.3. But if you are updating from watchOS 10.1, then this update size is going to be slightly smaller around four or 500 megabytes. But for me, this is the update size that I have here. And this is not all that Apple released today. In fact, you can see some other updates that came out on the Apple operating system page iOS 17.1.1 iPadOS 17.1.1, we also got macOS 14.1.1, and of course, watchOS 10.1.1. Most of these updates, I do cover them here on the channel, so if you wanna get to know your device and get to be able to see the new features and changes, then definitely do subscribe. So I'm going to go ahead and update my device, and then we're going to see what's new in watchOS 10.1.1. So just like that, and we are now up to date, one of the first new things that you see once you update to watchOS 10 from any other versions of watchOS could be watchOS 9 or watchOS 8 is this new hello screen. This is similar to what we see from iOS when a new iOS device is being set up or has been reset. And from here for me, since I was coming from a previous version of watchOS, you can see that I get this new hello screen. It looks good and it just goes to show how Apple is trying to seamlessly integrate the different operating systems that we have. Now, once we click start, it will basically try to teach me how to navigate the watch. You know, you press the digital crown to do this, but I've been using watchOS 10 on my Apple Watch Ultra, so that's not something that we're going to be doing. If we go into our settings and then it just taking it's taking a moment to load and go to where it says software update you can see right now i am up to date and if we go to the about section you can see the version that i'm on watch always 10.1.1 with the build number that is uh 21s71 so that's the build number that you can expect when you update to watch os 10.1 and now in terms of what's new when it comes to this update watch os 10.1.1 for most people there isn't going to be much and in fact if we go to the apple release page where they talked about the security releases because like at the start of this update apple mentioned that this update provides important security and stability updates so so if we go to where it talks about watchOS 10.1.1, you can see right there that it mentions that this update has no published CVE entries. That means there are no released notes that are publicly available from Apple that have to do with common vulnerabilities and exposures. But that doesn't mean that Apple hasn't done anything in the background. In fact, there is one thing that we know that Apple addressed with this update, and it has to do with the battery. And for this, you have to go into your settings. And then if you go to the battery section, especially for people that are already that, that are coming from watchOS 10.1, there was an issue where the Apple Watch would heat up when charging. The Apple Watch battery would basically last a few hours. Some people were complaining that with a new Apple Watch Ultra 2, it was only lasting for about three hours after like a maximum charge to 100%. Others were complaining that this was basically heating up, which wasn't very good for your battery. It leads to a lower battery health maximum capacity. But for this device, this is the Apple Watch Series 7. My maximum health capacity is on 87%. I still have a few more percentages to go. And the Apple K Plus just expired recently. But for this device and with this update, it fixes a major battery issue that's here. And in fact, if you go to Twitter and you search up watchOS 10.1, right? You'll notice that this 
has an update that has been released by Apple to specifically fix uh, the battery drain bug that was there on the update that was previously on watchOS 10.1. And so if you're experiencing those issues and you update to watchOS 10.1.1, then you will need to use it for a few days to be able to tell whether the battery bug has been washed out. But if you're one of those people that was basically having the battery issue affecting you like from 100% to like 0% in about three or four hours, then you will definitely see the change right away. For me, I still need to use it right away and and uh, for a number of hours to be able to tell. Since I was coming from watchOS 9 on this Apple Watch device and I hadn't been testing it vigorously like my Apple Watch Ultra, this is something that I'll be keeping an eye on and testing it out more closely. But other than that, this is how this update is for me. With regards to some other updates that we might see pretty soon, you know, I'll be happy to let you know that watchOS 10.2 is currently in beta. So if we go to the Apple developer page right here, you can see that the developer page of uh, watchOS 10.2 has not been updated in a while. It was rushed released on October 26. So we did skip a week all thanks to Apple's uh, scary fast event that released new Macs. But I would expect a watchOS 10.2 beta uh, 2 or, be or the next beta in this coming week and by latest maybe next week tuesday but yeah this is something that uh, i thought i should just share with you nothing major no new features or changes within this update it's just a bug fix update that's here to fix stability and uh, some security patches in the background that Apple isn't disclosing. And of course, if you're experiencing some of the battery issues that have been mentioned or that a number of users were re-experiencing on the previous watchOS 10.1, then watchOS 10.1.1, according to Apple, is here to resolve those battery issues. So this is how the update is for me. If you like this video, leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. I'm flexing, I'm lady, cause life is a blessing. I'm currently counting my blessing. Ascending for heavens, I'm headed away from the universe. I'm coming back, not as human beings. Came to the touch, I'm a sinner, but not a beginner. Though every day is a beginning. I'm critically breathing, I'm dusty. I'm kicking my inches, you nasty. I speed on your Misery home, you. Misery home, you. I never liked you, and you never liked me. Say one. But nothing contagious is my anger. Riding around in